hello friends welcome to coding host youtube channel in this video i will explain you program for finding the max in the array using recursion so first i will make a array here int a equal to 10 20 30 we have taken a array of three elements and after that i will make a method here public static and you can see here we have to find max from this array so it means that we have to return a value to the main method so for that we will use here return value as int so in the recursion you have to focus that whether you have to return any value or not in a method so if you only have to print the values one by one so that time you can use the return value as void but if you have to calculate something and you have to print that value in the last so you have to use here some return type and the method name i will use here find max so we will make the parameters and body of this program later first i will call this method here find max so in this method what we have to pass here first we have to pass array and the starting index which is zero now i will make these two parameters here int a and int index now in this method what i will do is i will take a variable int max equal to a of index in this max variable we will store the current index value of this array then i will take here one more value int r max equal to and i will call this method again find max and we are passing here array and index plus one i will write here if statement if r max is larger than this max variable so then max equal to r max and we will return max and we also have to make a base case here because we know that at some value this index value will reach up to the length of the array so i will write here if index equal equal to a dot length so we know that if the index will become equal to a dot length so that time we cannot return any value from the array but that time we will return here zero so it will become our base case here and you can see that we are returning this max value to our main method so we also have to print this value so i will take this method inside here System dot out dot print. So now let's run this program and see what will happen. So you can see that in the output we are getting 30. Yes, 30 is the max element of this array. So now let's see how this program is working. So you can see that in the program we have an array in which we have three elements, and then we are calling this find max method in which we are passing two arguments array and the index starting from zero. So here I am making our stack. So first we are calling this find max method for index 0. So a and index will be 0. So after that what will happen? So I will write here line numbers. So we know that for if statement we will not write any line number. From here we will write line numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. So for this base case we do not have to write any line number. But after that in the rest of the if statement and other lines we have to write line numbers so you can see that when the index value is zero what will happen so this if statement is not going to execute then we will make a max variable and in this max variable we will store the current index value in this max variable so i am writing here this max variable name and in this max variable right now we will have the value from index zero so at index zero in the array we have 10 so in this max variable we have 10 so this first line has executed after that this second line will execute so when this second line will execute it will make this r max variable so i am writing here rm for this r max variable so when this second line will execute this method will call itself with index index plus 1 so 0 plus 1 index will become 1 now this method will call itself and it will get memory in the top of the stack so find max and here we are passing array and index 1 so now you can see that when index value is 1 this if statement is not going to execute yes this first line will execute and it will store the current index value in this max variable so at index 1 we have element 20 so we will store 20 in this max variable so whenever this method is calling itself so it will make a new max variable so uh, this first line has executed and we have stored element 20 in the max variable then the second line will execute and it will call this method again 
for index i plus 1 so now in the top of the stack again this method will get a memory so max and this time we are passing here a and index 2 so you can see that when index value is 2 this if statement is not going to execute yes this first line will execute and it will store the current index value in this max variable so at index 2 we have 30 and 30 will be stored in the max variable so here we will get 30 for a new max variable then the second line will execute and now it will call this method again for index i plus 1 so now on the top of the stack again this method will get memory and here we are passing a and index 3 so now you can see that when index will become 3 this if statement will execute because now index is equal equal to array dot length so that time this method will return 0 so it will return 0 to this method and this value 0 will get stored in the rmax variable for this method where index is 2 so now in the rmax variable here we will get 0 because in the line number 2 we have called this method and that time it has written us 0 so this 0 we are storing the rmax variable so you can see that after returning 0 this method will get removed from the stack so it will get removed from the stack now you can see that we have taken a if statement here if rmax is larger than max so you can see that this is our max variable and this is our rmax rmax is 0 and max is 30 rmax is not larger than 30 yes third line is not going to execute and the source line will execute and it will return this value max to this method where index value is 1 so this 30 will be written here so here we will get 30 in the rmax variable so after passing here 30 this method will get removed from the stack so you can see that when index value is 1 in the max variable we have 20 and in the rmax variable we have 30 so then this line number 3 will check that if rmax is larger than max so you can see yes rmax is 30 and max is 20 so in the max variable now we will store 30 so this third line will execute and now in the max variable we will store this 30 after that this line number 4 will execute and we will return this value of max to this method where index value is 0 and after that this method will get removed from the stack here we have received 30 in the rmax variable so now in the third line it will check that if rmax is larger than max so you can see yes rmax is 30 and max is 10 so now this max variable will become 30 and after that this line number 4 will execute so that time it will return this value 30 to its main method so this method it will return this value 30 to the main method and in the output we will get 30 and after returning this value 30 this method will also get removed from the stack so stack will get empty so this is how we can find max in array using recursion thanks for watching